A-B testing can also have um, more variations. So it can be like A-B-C testing or, or even, even more variants can be uh, included in this kind of testing. But basically it's uh, comparing two or more variations of a web page against each other to find out which variation performs better. Um, and with this uh, type of testing you can, you can really test quite a lot of things. So here I have a few examples and these are probably the most common ones. So copy, it can be uh, different versions of a, of a text or, or text on a button or, or um, something like that or even the style how the text is presented in the, in the website. It can be layout, so um, you can maybe change the layout so that f different uh, elements on the page are, are located differently in, in different versions. Um, it can be uh, navigation, so maybe, maybe for some users you show a different kind of navigation, maybe a more simple navigation to see which navigation works better. And then CTA, call to action, is, is very important, so sometimes maybe you get more clicks on the call to action uh, element if it's placed somewhere else or if it has a different color or a different um, form or, or a different icon or, or something like that. Just, just so different versions of it can make a real difference. Um, and then lastly, uh, social proof. So this can, this can kind of include recommendations, for example, or uh, customer reviews on your page or uh, badges like, like discount badges or something like uh, um, popular right now for a product, uh, something, something that kind of gains uh, people's interest. So this can also make a huge difference um, in conversions, for example. So here I have a few um, kind of visual examples of, of, um, of uh, what, what we could, for example, test. So here's, here's kind of a, um, a layout. Uh, experimentation so so we are basically um, in one version we have the call to action button quite low so it's before be, um, kind of underneath the fold so you're not really able to see it when you first land on this mobile product page but what if we um, lift it up a little bit more so it's a bit higher um, and, and then we have the rest of the information a little bit lower this could be a really nice test to see if people actually click on the buy button or the call to action button a little bit often, more often. Um, and here's, a, here's an example of, of a badge, so, so um, basically showing like how much savings you can, you can have um, by, by having this uh, uh, badge on, on the category page. Um, quite often we have a lot of customers that have these um, um, market prices, so they might have a market price that is, um, uh, is shown uh, and then their own price uh, next to that so, so that the, the visitor can, can see that how much money they could save by buying from, from, this, um, um, from this provider. Um, and then here's another example of, of adding a new feature, um, uh, this card preview. Um, box um, for for when uh, for when uh, you've added a uh, new item in your basket. So so showing something like added content and and um, kind of um, comparing that against when you don't show um, this kind of added added uh, content can also be a really nice test. And sometimes it can be even that uh, you have this uh, kind of um, hypothesis that maybe this could drive more sales, um, but Sometimes maybe it doesn't, like in this case, maybe uh, when the user sees that, okay, I have a lot of stuff in my basket, when maybe they get scared and, and abandon the basket, but you never know if you don't test. So, so sometimes uh, maybe the results can be even a little bit surprising, but this is a good way, um, good thing to test maybe.